Are you ready to supercharge your Angular development workflow? In this video, we're diving deep into Angular's MCP, the magic code provider as I like to call it, and showing you how it can revolutionize the way you build Angular applications. Hi everyone, Adnan Halilovic here. I'm a software engineer with over 15 years of experience. And for the last year, I've been on a mission, exploring the latest AI tools and sharing my findings with you. Today, we are cracking up the code on Angular's MCP. I'll guide you through the what it is, why it matters, and how to get started. So let's jump in. Angular MCP, or Bundle Context Protocol, is an AI power tool designed to streamline your Angular development. Think of it as your intelligent coding assistant. At its core, it, is, it leverages uh, AI to generate code snippet, actually, components, and even entire features based on your specifications. This significantly reduces the amount of manual coding required, bringing you up to focus on the bigger picture, the architecture, user experience, and overall application logic. It is fully integrated into the Angular CLI, and it's available in the IDs like Cursor, Windsurf, VS Code, and many others. Now, uh, let's see how to configure and use it in your favorite AD IDEs. So, I'll open the cursor here, and first, uh, make sure that you have the latest version of Angular CLI installed. Angular MCP is integrated directly within the Angular CLI. Now, uh, I'll show you that. So, first of all, as I told you, we have to check the version of Angular uh, and CLI, of CLI. So, ng version, and then we're going to see here, so bit, we're going to see uh, if we are using the latest version. So, it is 20.2. For me so if you have a older version you should do the ng update at ng uh, sorry angular slash cli i think this is the command and then you will get the latest version of angular cli and also uh, you should update the angular core after you uh, finish these steps now uh we have to go to the settings to add uh mcp but uh, as I mentioned, uh, Angular, uh, Angular's MCP is integrated in the CLI, so we have to do the following. ng MCP. Hit enter. Then we're going to uh, get this MCP service uh, here that we have to uh, add to our configuration to be able to use these MCP servers actually, this MCP server here. So I'm just going to copy this, and you can do it as well. And then go to the yeah, we can uh, have it like in a, a few ways to open the MCP se uh, settings of uh, cursor. So, Control Shift P or Command Shift P on Mac OS, and just uh, type open MCP settings, and that's the first option here because I used it recently. And then we're gonna see this tools and integrations. I'll just write this down. Okay, tools and integrations, and we can see uh, some other my MCP tools here. But I'll just uh, click on new MCP server and here on the list I'll just add it below this one here and instead of uh, copying everything I'll just copy this angular CLI okay like this it's a bit well okay and hit save now in the cursor settings we can see the angular uh, CLI is here. So, Angular CLI is loading tools here. So, this is the first step for the cursor. In Windsurf, let's go to the Windsurf here and show you the same thing here. So, uh, you can go here on the right side. So, I'm going to close this. So, we have uh, two options here. If you go to the settings, we can go to Windsurf settings and also uh, see the MCP servers here. Okay, like this, we can manage MCPs and we can uh, see the row configuration here. And this is the place where we are, we are going to paste our settings. But there is another option to jump to this easier, just for you to know. As we are learning all things, always something new here. Okay, click to this box, MCP store and manage servers. Then it will automatically open this uh, manage MCPs that we had already there and your row configuration. Now, in the windsurf, we can do the same. ng MCP, hit enter down. Now we can see the same 
uh, configuration here and you have just to copy and paste it because uh, we had nothing here before then we're gonna paste it as this here hit save go back to manage uh, mcps and now we're gonna click refresh button here and we're waiting for it to see okay we can see that we have uh, now uh, angular cli just to zoom a bit okay uh, we have this angular mcp here and we can see that we are using the guest get best practices here and also search documentation for angular and this is this is like this uh now i'm gonna disable this for a moment and i'm gonna share with you something else here so now i'm gonna generate component like this back here and the cascade and down below I'm just gonna uh, type and say okay generate new component that going be a footer for this application okay and while waiting we can see that uh, it is actually uh, doing the things here like generating it read app component html doing things here and i'm going to show you what is this application about just open it back to the insert yes there's to open automatically in our default browser after building okay we can see it here so this is our application from one of the past videos now we are building some footer here actually generating it uh, using uh, ai tools so i'm going back to the windsurf here and let's see that we got this uh, footer component here it's still generating the component but we can see right now on the left side what we actually have I'm going to open this and uh, it is using like the, some sections okay and we can see the component uh, like this just like, like finish updating still okay it has some errors as well yep errors and uh uh, what i want to show you here uh it's the way i generate the applications uh, without the mcp server and with the MC mcp server so this component here is being generated without mcp server and now we're gonna see uh, how it looks like in the in the code Please. just a moment uh, wait for it to finish okay updating list Okay, yeah, it's it needs some time. Seems even this uh, like easy component. This is uh, A and G S for the component. We can see or yeah, and you can see this. This is what I actually want to show. You can see here that it is actually using all the control flow here, and the ng four like this, and the things that. It shouldn't be using in the newer versions of angular so we can see also that there is no like uh using on push strategies because that's the best practices for now and now uh we can accept file that doesn't matter and open it uh in our browser here to see it we can see this button you see the links yeah it looks okay and it's uh, matching almost the, the tone of our application here but the thing is that uh, this is not going to be as best practices. Now we're going to uh, to enable this MCP here. Okay, I'll just stop this right side. Okay, I'll reject everything. I'll remove. I'll remove this footer component from here. Being okay, let's see what else we have here. We have changed this okay you can see these files are here because i uh, my version of angular cli was 19 here for this project so i just uh, update the version Let's see okay and now uh, i'm gonna enable that mcp close everything 
this and now I'm just gonna click here enabled okay we have everything enabled now let's check the magic I'll again ask the same question here I'm gonna copy okay. I'm just copying the question from the top and pasting it down. And now I'm gonna see, I'm gonna paste it here and we're gonna check what is going on here. So there is a new component that's going to be a footer for this application. So it's the same. Okay, hit enter. And now let's see what's going on at the top. Okay. Yeah, I know this. Give some things happening here uh i'm gonna start a new chat for this because it has like some history here so i'm gonna paste the same thing again here enter or click on it and now see that it is actually using the mcp tool uh for angular cli and getting the best practices so we're gonna see and compare before and after that we had yeah we already uh, know what we had before and now we're gonna see what it actually generated for us so i'm gonna open it like this here we're gonna see the footer component here and right now what can we see so uh, we can see that it uses actually change detection strategy on push here and let's see what it's generating yeah we can see in the workflow that is using a new workflow that is four loops like this instead of the ones that use the ng4 that's sure so let it finish and complete this and i hope it will uh, finish it uh, less errors than the previous work here that we haven't used where we haven't used actually the mcp server so uh looks like everything is almost done let's see it here so there's some like errors finish we will just uh, quickly review the component. Okay. So we can see that one of the component was generated. And here, let's just quickly go through the generate. So we're going to see the HTML part here. You can see the ng4 track link by, by link name things here even the small component like this here but we can see usage of the for control form sorry control flow sorry okay and now let's go to the footer yes except file and we can see the change action here strategy imports common module current here etc cetera, etc cetera. so it looks like okay and we can see the in import here and also the the good thing that is uses like uh, self-closing tags here instead of just having app footer and closing it again but so we'll accept everything here and here like let's import okay and now we can just go to the browser to see it what we actually got here so we got the label string url error here and this is not something that we expected but it could be like something that we had here okay here we build this okay yeah shoot okay now we can see that uh, also the footer here even it's not looking like a good thing here move down but uh it's like this so we got the functional footer here and yeah it's there so now we could just uh, continue talking about the benefits actually first and foremost it's about increased productivity so you could see that it, uh, it generated uh, reduced it, the development time but this is the small task uh, secondly it promotes the code consistency and you can see that it used it used uh, the best practices and also thirdly it can help you learn so by observing the code generated by mcp you can gain insights into different patterns and approaches this is especially useful for uh, newer angular developers forget starting at a blank screen mcp can quickly generate starting points saving you precious time and mental energy other great benefits is exploration of new features mcp's um, 
AI capabilities can help you explore the possibilities of new Angular features, ultimately supercharging your development process, and Angular MCP improves code quality, as the AI can generate code either to established coding standards and best practices there. So that's Angular MCP in a nutshell. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumb up and subscribe for more software development content like this one. Also, if you're curious about how AI is transforming other tools, check out my recent video about Devon's deep wiki in Windsurf. Is Devon coming to Windsurf? You'll have to watch to find out. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.